Hey guys, this is going to be a bit of a commentary video, and it's going to concern Cosmo RNA, or Cosmo RNA, Cosmo RNA, whatever you want to call the name. You know the new product that I'm talking about that's from South Korea, made by that one pharmaceutical company, or whatever company they are, Bioneer. And I personally seem to have become increasingly more skeptical about the product. Now, disclaimer, I'm not using Cosmo RNA. But when I look at the Cosmo RNA subreddit, I'm just not seeing any results. People aren't posting any results. But I'd say that that's primarily due to the fact that this product just came out and we're not going to see any sort of meaningful hair growth anytime soon. But there also is something to take into account. I don't think most people are only using Cosmo RNA. I think they're using finasteride or dutasteride maybe are you as well are you four five eight whatever that long line of numbers and letters are maybe they're using other experimentals and minoxidil in conjunction with cosmo rna the point being is you could have somebody who's using finasteride who or dutasteride who went through some sort of synchronized shed who's still using those medications and they're like oh damn it i have to use cosmo rna and that will help but in reality, their hair is cycling back and coming back to a more stronger antigen growth cycle. So the illusion in this sense is that Cosmo RNA is the one doing the heavy lifting, when in reality, it's probably other things than their hair stack, hair loss stack. So to me, I, I think there's a lot of like concerning things about this particular product. First off, the company originally... Um, the application was supposed to be once a week. And then it switched to a bi-weekly application. So once every two weeks. And they based that off of a particular clinical study that they did on their own part that, to my understanding, hasn't really been published. Next, there obviously is a conflict of interest here. If this company is going to do their own clinical studies, they have an incentive to make it look good, really good for shareholders. And also take into account that other people are using other hair loss stacks in conjunction with Cosmo RNA. When it finally goes out into the consumers, when it finally goes out to the consumers, it's going to, again, make it look like Cosmo RNA is the one doing that heavy lifting. Now, that's a huge allegation to make to say that this product probably is horseshit. But it is healthy to have that sort of criticism. Now, the technology behind uh, RNA vaccines and just these new RNA treatments that are going to be coming out is very sound, right? You have this molecule that can interact with a receptor and either block that receptor, degrade that receptor, or modulate that receptor. But how do we know that this particular treatment for androgenic alopecia is one, being properly carried through whatever vehicle that they're using, and two, has a strong enough strong enough effect on the androgen receptor to actually cause hair growth. And I'm going to be honest, when I look at the pictures, they don't seem to be that much of a difference in terms of what they show on their website regarding the improvements of hair. And again, they probably picked the best photo that they had. You, you don't know how what photos they're picking to represent the success, supposed success or efficacy of Cosmo RNA. The point is this, people are using other hair loss drugs, other hair loss products that have been on the market longer, that have a proven efficacy, and that have larger clinical studies, or have a more familiar mechanism of action. And Bioneer, of course, has to make money for its shareholders. And because of that, they can play on this particular psychological game where, yeah, it, you know, it can give you some hair growth, but... We're going to rely on the fact that people are using other hair loss drugs in conjunction with Cosmo RNA. Now, I don't want to say that's the pure and full allegation or accusation that I'm making. I'm just saying that is a sense of skepticism that I ha have been having lately in regards to this particular product. But only time will tell. Maybe w within like a year or so, you'll see people with, you know, crazy heads of hair going from Nord 4 to Nord 1. Crazy improvement, right? But we all know that's not going to be the case. And... I don't think there are that many people only running Cosmo RNA in their stack. Plus, 
it would be really nice to see if we had some sort of clinical trial that compared Cosmo RNA to finasteride to minoxidil and to placebo to actually get a better comparative analysis against the other hair loss drugs. So anyway, that's pretty much it. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.